Alright guys, welcome to episode 8 of EDH Commander Challenge. I'm your host, BT, alongside... That's uh, How you doing, Francis? Yeah. Alright, now don't freak out guys. It's, I know it looks crazy, a black guy playing a mono black deck and a white guy playing a mono white deck. This is in no way, shape, or form racist, so please keep that out of the comments. Uh, what we got here for you today is... Stop it, Francis! Don't give them ideas! <laughs> uh, today, what I was promised in my last video, my general today is... The heir to Black Blade, or Black Blade? Or, yeah, it's Black Blade. It always sounds weird, but... Heir to Black Blade, Corlash. He is a Star Star zombie warrior that looks like the Undertaker with a sword and a really cool hat. Like a Viking, if you will. And uh, his basically star star equals number of swamps I control, and I can also regenerate him for two. This is the first time I've ever really used what you refer to as a Voltron commander, where he can get stronger and I can really depend on him to do the most of the groundwork for my deck. And against me today I've got what, Francis? Gerard Capuchin. And what does your Capuchin do? No, he's a uh, for five mana. He's three four. At the beginning of my of my upkeep, I gain one life for every card in my opponent's hand. That's annoying. And tap and I pay uh, one white and three colors. Tap target creature. Activate the ability only if Gerard is attacking. All right, it's pretty crazy. All right, so I guess it's uh, since we have a roll off camera, I guess I'll start things off for us here. So it's mono white versus mono black, soldiers versus coral ash and some random zombies. So I'll start with the Swamp, I'll pay one, so sorry Francis, I'm going to play Duress. So what that means is you have to reveal your hand, and I get to take a non-creature, non-land card from it, and discard that card into your graveyard. Please be so ring. <laughs> Conjus Banner! Okay, I'll just roughly go through what Francis has here. You got the Spear of Heliod, Conda's Banner, Oriog, Glaive Master, a Plains. What is this? Another Plains here. Is that the th God Throne? Yes, the uh, Throne of the God Throne. Oh God. I don't think it might be my choice, actually. And this is what? Uh, Ten and Knight. Okay, that's a creature. Yeah, I guess I'm going to choose in this case because I really want to get rid of that banner, but I, that's going to be more annoying later on, so I'll get rid of that. Oh, that yeah. goes to your graveyard. It's your turn now. Duress turn one is. Godly for me, so I'm not concerned. One and uh, one. And he got his glaive master out. Go. I'll draw a card. Here's a card I haven't seen before. I'll play a land. I will pay. Uh, gosh, one for a soul ring. Of course. And then three. For a Sophie, Sword of Fire and Ice. Oh, very so this is, gives the Crypt Creature plus two plus two, uh, protection from red and blue, and if the Crypt Creature does combat damage to a player, I get to draw a card and deal two damage to a target. Go ahead, Francis, you get a free shot. <laughs> uh, this, I'll take this. Uh, two, and all oh, my creatures hit plus one. Oh, he's got, is that a Crusade? Yeah, original, oh. one of the original Crusades. And Very nice. I guess I'll deal you two damage. All right, so you got first blood on me. I'm at 38. Good. All right, I'll draw a card. Jeez, that's not very good. I guess this is as good a time as any, so four mana. I'll play Corlash, heir to Black Blade. He's a 2-2 two -two right now, because I got two swamps. Go ahead, sir. What's next, Glorious Anthem? <laughs> Three, and always watching, pretty close. What is that? So it gets plus one, plus one, and vigilance. So all your creatures are, are wow, so the, all your creatures, you're as bigger than my Corlash now. Yep. What is this cheapness? <laughs> and, uh... It's like light versus darkness with light completely outshining the darkness right now. I'll take it for three. It has vigilance, huh? Yeah, I'll take three. Okay. Man, I'm already down 35! Go ahead. Jeez. Draw for turn. Okay, so I play a Swamp, so now this is a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Alright, then I get a little Revenge. I'll pay 2, and I'll 
equip my core lash and now it's a 5-5. Mm -hmm. And then for three mana, I'm gonna play Gatekeeper of Malakir. Okay. It's a 2-2 vampire warrior with a kicker of one. If it's kicked, I get to force target player to sacrifice a creature. So you have to sacrifice your 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Hooray! Now I'll finally get to attack you. So you take uh, five. Uh -huh. uh, that's being five commander damage. So you're, we're now we're both 35. Then, thanks to the effect of the Sword of Fire and Ice, I'll shoot you for two. Okay. And I'll draw a card. Your turn. Please don't day of judgment me. <laughs> oh dear. I'm getting nervous here. I'll do that one first. Uh, attendant Knight. Okay, so two. when that comes up, you get a 1 1 soldier? Yeah. That's annoying. Done? Yep. Alright, we'll untap. Draw a card. 4-4. Four, four. Well, they're all huge. This is a 4-4 four, four, and this is what? A 2-2 two, two or a 3-3? Three, three? Uh, 2-2. Oh, because it's non-tokens. -token. Oh, okay. No problem. Uh, jeez. I guess what we'll do for now is we'll, because I'll try and keep attacking, but jeez. Um, five mana. Actually, hold on. Before I do that. I'm going to attack you with my Corlash, 5-5. Five, five. Um, don't block the token. Yeah, that works. Then I'm going to pay 5 mana. I'm going to play Liliana Vess. I'll show that up on the camera here real quick. So Liliana Vess comes in with uh, some counters. 5 counters. I can tick her up by one to make a target player discard a card, minus two from her to go shuffle to essentially Vampiric Tutor, or minus eight where I can put all creatures and all graveyards into play under my control. So what I'll do is I'll tick her up by one and ask Francis to please place a card from his hand into the graveyard. I love this card. Not as good as like the the Liliana of the Dark Veil vale or anything like that, but still, it's pretty awesome. Your turn. That's useful. Uh... Oh, I got that fourth land. Hmm. Don't wrath me. Like this. We go with the B here. Don't wrath me. Don't wrath me. Don't wrath me. <laughs> no more. Please. No damn judgment. Uh... Three spear How big do you make your creatures? Uh, by the way, it gives his creatures another plus one plus one, and he can also pay three mana to destroy a creature that dealt him damage. So now all of his creatures' base power that are not tokens are minimum four. They're minimum plus three plus three or four fours. Hey. Thank you for five. You're attacking me. All right, I'm blocking because I don't want you to kill me, my Lily on the vest. Okay. Done? Uh huh. I will draw a card. Why you have vigilance too is so irritating. <laughs> draw. Um, gosh, I don't have any more mana though. Uh, I'm gonna take it that up again and make you discard a card. Okay. Well, with Liliana. Is Yay! They got the banner! That thing gets really annoying, guys, that's why. Two mana, I'm gonna play a charcoal diamond and to play tapped, just taps for a black mana. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna pay three to play Ikor Rats. So it's a two one infect. Comes into play, each player receives a poison counter. I'll just put this poison counter here in the middle because I only have one. And we'll put both of our totals on here. So I'm at rage at one. Mm -hmm. Um I guess I'm gonna attack you since you can't use the spear yet. I'll attack you. Wait, how big is your creature, actually? Five, five, first strike. No! Darn it! I can't attack. Go. Why is it that every white creature has to have first strike? I call unfair. Uh, 
Uh oh, he's reading something. That's not good. He's got one card in his hand. I've got three. I'll give you a guy's quick shot at my hand. If I had a little bit more mana, I could play the card in the far right, which is my personal favorite. I'm going to start doing, trying to do stuff next turn. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I will pay the bestow cost instead of its casting cost. Uh-oh. So it comes to equip to him. What is it? So, <laughs> so, take the name of your so, card. Sorry, first. that's true. So it's eight along with the countless battles. All right. It's basically you bestow it to, to bestow it to equip it. It becomes an aura. Okay. And Eidolon of ba countless battles and enchant creature gets a plus one plus one for each creature you control and plus one plus one for each aura you control. Okay, so basically it gets plus one, plus, plus two, plus two right yeah. now. So it's the biggest creature on the board. It's a seven, seven first strike. <sighs> Guys, the, the light is outshining the dark hardcore at the moment. So uh, that's all I can do for now, so uh, go. Oh, didn't attack me. Very oh, nice. Actually, wait, no, that's true. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. So Me and my big seven, mouth. Seven. Obviously blocking with the core rats. Okay. I did it. Now it's my turn. Come on, Lance. I forgot they has visions. I was like, eh. It's totally useless. Oh, jeez. Uh, I guess I'll take this up again even if you have no cards in hand. So I hit the discard an invisible card. Okay. Next one I could use its ultimate if I really wanted to. Um, I got six mana. This is not good, everybody. I guess just to get it out there, I'll play Nizumi Shortfang. So this one is a pay two. It's a it's a double card or flip card, if you will. I can pay two and make that an opponent discard a card from their hand. And if they have no cards, it flips into Stab Whiskers the Odysseus. And at the beginning of the, each opponent's upkeep, they lose a life for each card fewer than three in their hand. So with that, I'm gonna pass, because I can't attack you. Oh. Well, this, this, this is just... Pick two, and I'll put Grand Abolisher. Grand Abolisher now? Uh... Oh my lord. Come on. I'll attack your planes one. Um... And a block of the short fang, I guess, because I need to keep her alive. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait, no, I don't have to block with that, sorry. I'll block with Coral Ash and I'll regenerate it. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> I made an error. That's exactly why I did that, so I could do that. You gotta stop, stop eyeballing yeah. that, that, that sphere of Helion. I didn't deal damage to you. No, 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 uh, go ahead. That says I can only I can't use what spells or abilities during, can, during your the turn. Oh, that just made my sharp fang completely useless. That is terrible. Oh man, draw a card. Well, there's the land I was looking for essentially. Uh, I'll pay one for a wayfarer's bobble. Mm -hmm. I can sack it to go get a basic land for two. Still can't do anything. Go ahead, your turn. It's a very uh, Standstill game here for the moment, uh, unfortunately, here, guys. France just. Day three. I'm gonna put Castle. <sighs> His creatures are huge! Like, I thought my Corlash would be the biggest thing ever. He's got. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> How is this fair? <laughs> and, uh. And that helps too with the vigilance, so it's like. It hey, does. Uh. It's it's double visual vigilance. <laughs> well, no, it's not double. It doesn't get vigilance. It's, it's all your creatures, as long as they're untapped, yeah. that they get the plus two. It's plus uh, zero, plus two. So they're pretty huge. <laughs> and, uh... I'll attack you again with him. With, with which creatures? Oh, just with him? Yeah. I'll uh, block and regen. Okay. Done? Uh, do I want to block attack with anything else? He's a... Well, if you would have attacked with him, I would have attempted to, like, block him as well, so... But you thought I blocked once with that, no? Well, I would have blocked with both my creatures. This is useless now because of your, uh, what you did. Well, I'll attack you with him, too. Oh, yes, it's just anyway, so yeah. I'll attack you with him. Oh, I don't mind, sure, I'll block him. And it's it. casual, bro. Yeah. 
And go ahead. I'll sack the bobbled into your turn to go get that all-important land I need to finally start doing some moves. <laughs> Thank Jesus. Okay. He's a... Cut. Oh, don't, don't worry about power for the moment. Seven, eight. See, uh, he's a eight, ten. Don't worry about power for the moment. You see what I've got. All right. Rathalos Soul, if you're watching, this one is for you. Because you, you tend to pull out these always crazy moves. I got one for you, too. First off, well, I drew a line anyway, so. Um, that's three, four, five, six, seven. Shieldred, the Whispering One. This is a 6-6 six, six Swamp Walk that at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to return a creature from my graveyard to play. Also, during each opponent's upkeep, that player has to sacrifice a creature. Um, and then after that, I will take this up. So, it is your turn. Let's so sacrifice one now. Yes, because and your granite ball doesn't work because I'm not triggering the effect myself. It's a static ability. So you have to sacrifice a creature before you go. We well, can untap, but you still have to sacrifice a creature. Hmm. I think this is still considered an aura creature. It's not a creature. If you sack it, then it goes to the graveyard with your. Uh, and you sack this, it's going to sack that in the graveyard. Yeah, so not choice then. Random ball, sure. Goodbye, bye. Draw. Oh, balls. That's my uh, You only have one choice. Here comes your general. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so he's now a. He's massive. <laughs> one, two, three. So he's a six. Nine. Wow. He's a six nine. What a pervert. You guys heard it on camera, right? He's just said his creature is a six nine. Yeah. I apologize for that, guys. I really do. Francis, you're going to have to make a public apology on Facebook after this. To all your fans. And, uh... It's only one, one salt doesn't regenerate him, right? Uh, no, I need two. But it really doesn't matter anymore because I've got shieldred, so I can just bring it back during my when once my turn starts. You're welcome to attack anyway, so I'll bring back other things, but I'm safe at the moment. So I'll block... My general dies, I'll put him in the grave. Done? Uh-huh. Okay, so we will upkeep. I'll bring Coral Ash back. Draw a card. Now that I can do stuff. Do you have any creatures in your graveyard, by the way? Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to tick my Liliana Vest down to one. And I'll, all creatures in the graveyards come back to play under my control. Move back stuff. I need space. <laughs> and, and I get all these. Yay! I have creatures. Okay, and then three, four, five. I'll move this down here. I'll play a Blood Gift Demon. It's a five-four flying that lets me draw a card and lose a life during a. Or uh, during my uh, upkeep. And then I will pay two mana to equip the the Blood Give Demon with the sword. Okay. And, um... Almost there, they have some levels. Pretty much. Although we each take a poison counter because of the Ikora Rats, or so both yeah. up to two counters. Your turn. Oh god, if you draw a day of judgment after all my hard work. <laughs> uh, Alright, during your upkeep, you gain two life, because I have yeah. two cards in the hand, so you're at 35. I forgot. So it's 35 even, and five, oh, here's what has he got now? Uh, one, two, three. Oh, hold on, sorry, I almost forgot. Thanks to Shieldred, you have to sacrifice a creature during your upkeep before you even get your draw. Alright. We still get the life though. Yeah. Does it happen at the same time? Uh, I'll pull down here with this one. 
What is that? Silver Blade Paladin with the Soul Bound. Okay. And as long as it is paired with a, a creature, they both hit double strike. Okay. But you still have no way through. Like, I've got a wall of Karibos here against your ultimate dragon thing going here. It's, uh, every time you kill a creature of mine, I'll just bring it back with Shieldred, and then every turn you have to sacrifice a creature. For the moment, I've got you locked. And then next turn, I'm going to start pelting damage at you, uh, since you don't have any creatures that fly. So, feel free to attack me. I mean... I'll attack you again. I will block with the Cora Rats, okay. and that's it. Go ahead. If you had Trample, this would be very different. Yeah. Uh, during my upkeep, I will bring the Cora Rats back, so we both take another poison count. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we'll die together! Damn it! Uh, I take one, I'm at 34, I'm going to draw a card off of Blood Gift Demon, then I'm going to draw one for my turn. Very interesting, I'll play a Swamp. I'll pay... Um, I have one colorless floating. Uh -huh. I'm gonna play an Underworld Connections on one of my swamps. Uh -huh. So I'll tap it, lose a life, draw another card. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Um, I'll pay two mana to play Sensei's Divining Top, and I'll talk. <laughs> These cards are just blah. Blah, I tells you, blah. Uh, I'll declare attacks on you. Yeah. And I will swing with uh, for seven in the air. Uh -huh. So you take seven, that puts you to 28. Uh -huh. Then, since your creatures are way too huge to, to, to shoot for damage, I'll shoot you for two with the Sword of Fire and Ice and draw another card. And uh, then it's your turn. During your upkeep, you have to sacrifice a creature to uh, Shieldred. <sighs> Please. And, uh, what do I have? Oh, I'm going to attempt to get rid of that card. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to use Nizumi Short Fang's ability, making you discard. If it's an instant, you can use it in response, obviously. Oh, door Odysseus. Okay, those this flips into Stab Whiskers, the Odysseus. And, uh... The sad part is, guys, we're both looking for one card for win right now here. If he gets uh, Day of Judgment, I'm pretty much losing my entire board. Say, oh, I forgot that you pop up Liliana. And I need something to get rid of that so I can start waving. <laughs> Done? Thank you with them for the holidays. Well, yeah, uh, I will block with the Acorn Rats again. Okay. Go. Bring back the Acorn Rats. We take another okay. Boys Encounter each. Also, is it pay three? It's pay three. I do? Pay three and I kill that. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, right, because it, uh, it dealt you damage. Yeah. Well, I didn't tag you yet this turn. Uh, it's this supposed to be this turn, but I know you'll do it this turn, so it's okay. You could have done it last or turn. Or it dealt you damage on this turn. Right? Yeah, this turn, yeah. Uh, I will take a damage from this, draw a card, then draw one from my turn. Uh, then I'll tap this, lose another life, draw another card. This is like, what is going on? I need, I need oh, sorry. I'll take this up, you discard an imaginary card. I keep forgetting to use it. I'm gonna top. This is so sad, because even I have a Mutilate in my top three, and that's still not even big enough, even with the swamps I have, to kill your guy. <laughs> oh, well. oh, Lord. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. The Coral Ash just hasn't even done anything. It's just uh, so bad. Because most of your land is not swamps, it's just funny. I know. <laughs> Uh, I will attack you with uh, the Blood Gift Demon again for seven. Yeah, I take seven and I do with the Okay, so it dies. So, um, trigger. I'll shoot you for two, so that's put you to 19. Uh-huh. And I'll draw a card. And then just to get it out, I'll play Sword of the Animus. Okay. And then I'm going to pass the turn back to you. <sighs> Don't draw the card! <laughs> It's like hanging on like hardcore. Huh. 
Oh no. Well, that I have to suck this day is. Yes! Finally! <laughs> now you're in trouble. If that card was not the one, I can... Now I have free, free reign to uh, deal you massive damage. that one? So that's Shielder that brings back my creatures. Yeah. Oh, come on! Yeah, that dies. You get one one spirit token. Oh, how generous of you. At least it flies. <laughs> uh, okay, it's like, well, you discarded on my two best creatures, but I'm still okay for the moment. I'm gonna play a land and I'm gonna take this down, look for the card. Put it on the top of my deck. Good lord. Pretty much dead here anyways. Yeah. Um, do I have a... Do I have a... Where is it? Um, where is the cod? One day I'll beat you at this game. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go get this, put it on the top. I'll tap my underworld connections for one, putting me at 30, letting me draw it. I'm gonna play Nightmare Lash. One, oh, two, three, four. I'll pay three life, putting me at 27. What does it do? Gives my equipped creature plus one, plus one for each swamp I control, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna equip everything to my core lash. Two for Sword of the Animist, equip. And two, Sword of Fire and Ice, equip. Uh, here we go. Mush. <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two. Well, that's infect, so it doesn't even count. So one. This is seven. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, plus if the shooting is 19, so plus the rest for sure, that's game. Yeah. Whew! Was, nice off. was it? I had a smallpox coming up next. Oh, his. <laughs> My next three cards is Heliod, Stoneforge, and the things. Good lord, I'm so lucky he didn't draw like Day of Judgment through all this, otherwise I'd have lost. Pretty much. Whew! Yeah, none of them were coming at any time soon from what I can tell. And with this Coralash, well, not with a lot of help from Shieldred, stands tall over Gerard Capuchin. Francis, uh, how far was your was one of your cards that blew up the field? Like you had, like I believe there was Neviril's disc. I saw uh, when we went through it. There was uh, Day of Judgment. Day, Day of Judgment was like uh, maybe like. Ten turns. Oh lord! So it wasn't even close. No, not, not, well, maybe more than ten turns. All right, people. So thank you once again for watching. Today's victor again is Corlash, heir to Blackblade, who is really awesome. Deserves more respect than it gets. Really old school style commander, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos as well. Thank you for making us almost 100 subscribers strong. And don't forget to check out our channel. On behalf of the Mad Scientist Francis, I'm BT. Don't forget to join our game. Cheers! Ciao! No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 No!